guys, welcome to TV Skyline Stream of Storm. It's been a long time. Um, today, what we are going to basically be focusing on is we are going to build a new district for residential, and we are going to have like right, we are going to build a new district just across by the across by the prison we're going to extend that road and build a district there so what you guys can do feel free to drop a like and a subscribe to the video um follow me on twitter at ashbosh g capital a and capital g you can all up there you can also follow me on twitch at Ashboss1234 again Ashboss1234 you can also follow on you can also like my Facebook page it would be Ashboss Gaming on Facebook that's about it feel free to comment if you want your name added to a house in the city you get one of the houses in the normal district if you subscribe to my channel, you will get a house in the subscription district. If you follow me on Twitch, you will get a house in the Twitch followers district. If you do all, you will get a house in all the districts. If you want your name on a district, which most likely would go to my donor, if you want your name added to a district, you can link me in the you can check me in the dish comments I would decide if I would add your name to the districts also um, as we get the video started basically right by the prison here I would be adding the Basically right by the prison, I would be adding right there a uh, um, district. That's where the new residential district would be. Let's see, yeah, I would use that big road. Go out a bit here, right there. I should go there and then turn. Right, and then turn. And let me zoom out a bit here because I can't really see what I'm doing right now. Um, just run this road one time and I think I'll zoom out after. Run this road, run this road, come on, come on. Right about there. Should I go slant base or should I go. Uh, let's go straight. I can't see where the other road is to see the actual angle, so I'll zoom out here. Basically, I usually go with the grid system, which it helps a lot with traffic, though it's a bit com compact, where you have to have a bigger grid to add on, um, like the hospital and graveyards and stuff. It's better that way, I think. I'm positive that I would add a train, train line to this district just to put it in line with the rest of the districts because all the districts has at least one or two train lines in it. So I think that is basically what I would do. Um, that's about it for this. Let's do this here. I would okay. I would just be silent for a moment while the building is going on. Let's go back from there. But take a good while of talking. Oh, right. Just to discuss with you guys, since this discussion did not come true in the last part eight episode, I think it was right. I was discussing with you guys last episode 
when the mic decided not to work, what DLC I find is the best DLC um, Paradox has for City Skylines. Personally, for me, the best DLC for City Skylines was there's actually two by two of my preference of the best DLC for City Skylines. I prefer Mass Transit and um, and Park Life. Before Park Life came out, I would have preferred Green City. But Park Life came out and topped Green City, so yeah, that's about this very one. To give you a good description of why I prefer Park Life over Green City, Green City basically brought out the, as the name says, it basically brought out the fact that you can have a green city. I did have a green city at a point in time of camera, but that was a bit, after a few months, it just got a bit, a bit stale. Yes. Being honest with you guys, after a few months, green city got stale. But park life now, you, you can't really go wrong with park life, park life has. What I really like about park life is that you could customize your own park. That's one of the major, major positives about park life. Customizable parks. Because you know what it is to be having a big city and having to be plotting down some small parks all over the city. That is a lot of therapy. Um, what I would say really is that Instead of doing all of that, let's create a huge park in the middle of the city. As park life, you can do that now. Create a park in the middle of the city, and that will take care of most of the ledger. And the other thing I like about park life, they added the cinematic camera. That was one of the best. That was one of the best things that they did. But I really think they actually thought of the YouTubers who stream and who record city skylines and has to do cinematic camera they actually thought of us there and put in that built into the game now so now you don't have to go in and snoop in and do a bit of cinematic here and cinematic there you can still do it but now it, there is a mode that actually does that for you and i like that a lot most of my cinematic shots in my episodes are from that movie as you may have seen. That, that helped me out a lot with recording wise and editing wise of it. Oh right, that rule was a bit hard to put down there. Um I had to go from the other side because the line up was really snapping to another another rule. Yes, this, I think this format of grid should work in regards to getting everything basically done. Um, right. Uh, so that, that's basically about it with the reason why I prefer park life over, let me zoom out a bit there, just over the fact that I prefer, where, why I prefer park life for Green City. Green City was good, but I got bored of that one. Um, in regards to... Excuse me, my guys are a bit sick right now. Uh, yes, I have the cold and my nose is a bit stuffy. I am thinking, how would I zoom this area? In fact, let's make this a bit short. You want your name on this district, miss, drop a comment, and I would possibly, it's, a, it's not that, but I would possibly add your name to the district. If you want your name to be on a house, so drop a com comment, most likely you get a house. In certain districts, you want one of the nice houses in one in a specific district, you gotta do something specific. Like for the Twitch followers district, only Twitch followers have that have the privilege to get houses in that district. 
for the YouTube subs or the sub sub privilege to get a house in my district. For, well, basically, I don't have any other districts except for specific stuff. But I will have a district for Twitter followers eventually. Only Twitter followers can get a uh, house in my district. I will not have a district for Facebook. That's a bit too personal. Um, right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. How am I going to do this? I will add organic there. Self sufficient and offices, high tech. So all the houses here would be self-sufficient, all the commercial in this area would be, what was I saying now? All the commercial in this area would be organic and locally produced, which is a good thing. How I would do this now, I would put all, um, I would have to that. I would put all the residential on the inside of the Put all the residential on the inside by the smaller roads and have the commercial on the outside. Smooth out there. All the residential would be on the inside. And the offices would be on would be on the outer part of the district. I forget I have to run some water. So now the all will be low density. Going to, to be a bit of low density. High very low density. And all the commercial will be on that line, like an outline of the residential and the main roads. Offices will be on the outer line. Let's see some residentials are already starting to move in. This episode most likely we will hit um, capital city in this episode. Most likely. Because when we left last episode we had 32,000. Currently we have 34,000, which is just two away from the capital city population. That's a lot of people in the city. Trust me. Usually when I play sandbox mode of city skylines, I don't really get that amount of people. But now as it has the because all everything just goes goes wrong one time. But now having like no mods on, you have to manage the money and build gradually. So if like as we as we see if you have sandbox mode on in city skylines and you build a big city and then everybody moves in, everybody will die around the same time and drop your population down a lot. And then a set of people will move in again and they will die at the same time and drop your population. So your population would not have the time to get to a higher amount. It's basically how it works with the population. This, I think you guys may have noticed if you play City Skylines. They are bringing out, I just got the notification on my phone. They are bringing out City Skylines for console, PS4 and Xbox. But they don't, it seems like they don't have the, they would not be starting from Park Life. They would be starting from Marsh Transit, which is pretty reasonable. So Marsh Transit is coming out for console, PS4 and Xbox, that would be cool and a bit hard to play. I don't know who would actually play that on PS4 and Xbox. Depends on how they have the controls and stuff set up. If it's set up good, it would be a good um, thing to do. 
it would be cool for them to do in City Skylines. It would, it would be really cool for the do app. It would be really cool for Paradox to add like a multiplayer feature. Not to say that to have it like um to really compare to SimCity, but it would be cool to have a feature close to that where you can have City Skylines multiplayer so that you can make a city near to your like how they have an outline of the city an outline of the the map the map has a certain land it can run what they can do is like have two maps you have a certain i think it's 80 84 blocks i can't really remember i think it's 81 84 blocks you'd have that amount to expand or basically the usual nine blocks expand and your multiplayer friend would have the other half of the but basically they would have a different map but you can see over into their map and they can see over into your map but the only thing is they cannot um do anything to your city but they can send certain stuff to you their people can come to your city, your people can go to their city, like tourism, this stuff. That would be a cool feature to add to City Skyline, so I'm just plugging along a bit of health care and stuff, so that the city would grow a bit, the district would grow a bit faster. That would be a cool feature to add to City Skyline, so even though, I don't want to really say compare it to SimCity, because SimCity was a bit of, well, it was good, but... It was a good game, but compared to City Skylines, to compare those two games, to me, I would prefer City Skylines. SimCity, the, what I honestly compare to SimCity, personally compared to SimCity, what I would really like about SimCity is that the fact that they have the, they have the, um, the water lines and stuff automatically run. That's one of the main features I like about City Skylines from the time I first saw it. Before City Skylines even came out, and I first saw the trailer of City Skylines, that crossed me one time. As you guys may know, I'm a builder. I'm that kind of gamer that likes to spend hours trying to build something looking perfect. Not nearly perfect, sometimes I give up. I am that type of build, that type of gamer that wants to build something, like literally. I prefer building games over shooting games. I prefer city games over like games like PUBG. Even though I play PUBG a lot. Which you guys may have seen my PUBG day. I play PUBG a lot, but I prefer games that you have to manage stuff over shooting games. Like first person games stuff that's why you see that's why guys you see that i dropped poetry on the, the channel i dropped playing poetry because two i was playing it on my mobile and recording my mobile was a bit of a hassle um but other than that it was a good series um i dropped poetry and if you may have seen i started I started Kerbal when this video goes out. I started Kerbal about this week self, a few days ago when this video comes out. I started Kerbal like today would be when this video goes out would be today is Friday. I started Kerbal when Tuesday. I started Kerbal Tuesday. Kerbal Space Program. I love that a lot. I don't really need to say per se play the, the career mode. I am trying out the career mode, in, as you may see in the series, even though I only have one episode out, because I mostly live stream Kerber. There's, I did live stream a second episode of Kerber Space Program, but the internet dropped in between and chopped up the live stream, so that's why I did not export it to YouTube. So you guys can just pop over to, to my Twitch channel to see part 2 of Kerber Space Program. To be honest with you guys, Kerbal Space Program would be the first half of the week and 
Factorio, that's another one that I have. I love Factorio. That's one game you guys can see me sit down and play for over three hours, over four hours. Factorio is a very addictive game. I actually played for the longest I have actually played Factorio. I've actually played Factorio from like I started a time like eight in the night and actually played till like about six in the morning. That's to tell you how I Dictate Factorio is. So I will mostly be live streaming Factorio since that game has less of a graphically intense game, so that would take up less graphics. Um, with less graphics, now it would be easier to live stream that and get a bit better frames, even though I see with my live stream on Factorio, it's a bit, some people say it's a bit slow motion. I don't know what's causing that. If you guys know, you can drop a comment and help me out with that issue that I'm having with Factorio with that slow motion. It's, it's really bothering me. And guys, when I go live, you can come and drop a few. I'm almost to affiliate, so I just need a few more average views. By the 10th of this August, by the 10th of September, for a moment there, I lost my sense. By the 10th of September, if I get an average view of 3, I would be an official affiliate of Twitch. Thank you guys. I I would thank all of you guys for this call. Let me just run this over the... It's not really just in the tears. Let's run this train track over the... Over the road. Alright, to stop what I was saying just now, if you guys a bit of advice when playing City Skylines and running train lines, never unless absolutely necessary run a train line over through a road. Never especially a highway. Never ever run a train line through a road. Unless absolutely necessary and you cannot do anything else. It's a good thing because this looks a bit bad, it looks a bit bad, right? That doesn't look like it's connected. Silly dot, silly dot. Right. I know I'm sounding a bit like overwhelming of talking. Yes, I do talk a lot. Some people say I don't talk a lot, but I do when it comes to game. Right, that's good there. I'm thinking of running a line from the main um train station to this train station just so that oh yes we just hit capital city people we just hit capital city oh my god we just made it we have a total of 36,000 people we hit capital city and we got a new piece of land oh yes well this map does not have any boat connections which is very unfortunate that we have no boat connections so um with no boat connections, we can't basically use the boat hub, the transport hub, we can't use those stuff. That's like a bit... I didn't really see that when I choose the map, but I was just watching the size of the map and stuff. But it has a good bit of... I was basically trying to keep the map within a perimeter of having a lot of... Well, it does not have a lot of trees, but it has a lot of fertilized ground, as you may have seen. That's basically what I was looking for because most of my industry may turn over to um, farms. But we have a lot of fertilized ground. As the houses right now are on fertilized ground. As of you guys are new to City Skyline, it's created by Paradox Gaming. And uh, I forgot the other producer. Why? Let's see if I can remember <laughs> their name. Um, uh, about Colossal Aura, is it, is it that? Yes, I think it's that right here. Um, yes, those guys have some good games. I, I would play Stellaris, but, uh, I'm not really the type to play strategy games, so Stellaris doesn't really, how to say, doesn't really apply to, or appeal to my gaming taste. Really nice around here. Yeah, that looks really nice. This looks 
nice. The circus is very nice. Let's just see if we can get to the next one. Ooh, the next chain. Oh my god, if you guys hear what I'm saying right now. That next chain makes it look so nice. Pause, pause, pause. I want to see it right here. That looks nice for a screenshot. That would definitely be the thumbnail. Definitely be the thumbnail. Obviously, this would be the thumbnail. Oh, this would obviously be the thumbnail. Right, just took that screenshot there. I'm going to edit that video, put that at the thumbnail. That looks very nice. It's very, like, very nice over the other one that I took. This just drops it in. It looks perfect. Having the city train pull off just when two intercity train wants to come in. That makes and with the hill in the background. With the set of houses on the hill in the background, that makes it perfect for a screenshot. Anyway guys, let's there's wow, there's a lot of people coming out of that train there. A lot of people coming out of that train. Wow. There's a lot of people moving into our city though. There's four hundred and something people moving into our city. I will not try to get that number. Um, it's over 400 people moving into our city basically. It's a good thing because we had an issue just now where, where we didn't have enough residential. It's, it's, I just had an idea there. Because if we have that train to uh, just think coming in, let's switch a line and make a line to go to that train line. So people dropping off to the main train station. That dropping off on the main train station then take a line and go across to the other train other this new district and I will put a new district eventually to just only accept trains from on the line um basically that's how I'm going to do it that has a little bit there that press the wrong button there um let's create a new line for some strange reason, it's not um, creating a line there, blah blah blah, let's move from there. But we would have to create a line in another strange situation. Which is good. It's good to have the line start here. Create a new line there. And add a stop there and then come back here. Oh, right. The next reason why I said it, give you a bit of advice, and said never run a train track through a road especially highways is because sometimes it's either the train would stop for the traffic to go if there's a lot of traffic or the traffic would stop and back up just for train to go especially if that's a very busy line oh god no no i do not want my train to be the same color as the external train wrong button there it's pause 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 right this way here train transport Ma, let's get a view. Right. Trains. Uh, try, 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 try. Right. Um, I think the right. We can just drop that there. Basically, that's a ball. Right. Dark blue should be good. So now we will know the difference between our city trains and our intercity trains. If you guys does not know what that means, intercity trains are the trains that come from other cities outside of the map. That brings in people and to tourists. I cannot pronounce that word for a moment there. Brings in people and tourists to the city. The normal city trains would basically as the name, name says transport people within the city to dif different places, districts. That's why I added a major, a little major train line underground. If you guys watched the last episode, if you guys missed that, you can watch the last episode of Stream and Storm, where you would see where I add a major um, train line underground, and also a major highway under the, under the city. A huge highway that's running. Like, it's like a, a spider web to basically explain how it looks. It's like a spider web. That's how they, they are. Ooh, that dark blue looks very nice next to that light blue tree. I don't think it would pick up on FFP 
it would take a while for them to pick up um, people from the. It would, it would take a while for them to pick up people from that train stop to go across because I just limited that train to the. Why am I saying train? That train station to. I just submitted that train station to just um, taking only city people. Only city trains, not into city trains. So it would take a while for it to actually separate and people would come to that actual stop with the intercity train, that one right there, and take the blue train, wait for the blue train, that blue, that blue train to come across, and take that train across to the other district. Or they might take a car and drive across the bridge, which makes no sense because there's a lot of traffic on that bridge, and they would have to go through it. It's faster to take the train from right there to right there. And on top of that, that would give me more money. That would give me a bigger income with my trains. Most of the income that I'm making now is mostly from trains. And then, guys, thank you for tuning into City Skyline Streamers Town Part 10. Yes, it's Part 10 of City Skyline Streamers Town. The end, guys. Thank you for tuning in.